The problem with living underwater. At least getting out of bed's easy. You're usually out already. Tangled in the duvet. Weighty as a whale's waistcoat. Then it's time to dress. Socks stick to the ends of your feet. Trousers pull you in all directions. Shirts billow and won't be buttoned. No chance of a hot bath or invigorating cold shower. Breakfast is bread that's too soggy for fish food. And cornflakes and milk that don't mix. The newspaper floats through the letterbox and disintegrates before you've read the front page. No time to sit down with the crosswords. No time for anything, now the car's broken down and the walk to work takes four hours. <laughs> Why bother when you arrive to a desk full of rusted stationery, waterlogged documents, a malfunctioning PC, and weak, lukewarm coffee. And every minute, gasping, you ascend to the surface, breathe deep, and return to this world, where it takes 20 minutes to tie a shoelace, and we speak in the silent language of bubbles.